So Ring of Frost, Frost Nova and Ice Nova are incredibly, incredibly helpful on this, uh, on this boss. Like this one, I actually got a little overzealous with the Frost Nova because I went back to, I wasn't watching the gulp timer, but it's actually pretty strong. You can just line them up for the tank to line the gulp up. So alternating like double Frost Nova on one and then um, Ring of Frost on another goes a really, really long way on this fight. Oh, okay. So one thing that I think is very helpful with Vortex Pinnacle is uh, these armored guys because they have the biggest amount of health. You do want to cleave off of them, but they do their shield in the first, I don't know, five seconds of the pull maybe. Let's see. So combat or five. Yeah, so about five seconds into the pull, they do Cloud Guard. So making sure you don't plant and you can kind of use Fire Starter while they're doing their shield to, you know, ramp up a little bit, get SKB stacks, but holding off on that helped me a lot because even sinking one, two, three Fire Blasts into that shield is gonna, because it's not reduction, it's just straight up whiff so you don't get the crit. So for fire, the thing I like to keep in mind with making decisions on how I how I gear is this pyroblast is 3.7 seconds long, right? It's a 22% haste. The higher haste you go, the shorter that cast gets. And so much of fire revolves around hard casting your pyros, ideally when you have a pyroclasm proc and an SKB proc to activate. So having more haste just makes everything feel so much better. So haste, then mastery. Verse is a decent stat. I use a verse flask to just make up my verse. Um, and then crit. Crit's generally for fire gonna be your lowest stat. They did just buff how much of your crit rating goes towards um, improved combustion. So your crit rating contributes to mastery. So crit isn't as bad of a stat, but the role that crit has historically played for fire has been essentially, if you can have enough crit to crit all the time or almost almost all the time with kindling, then go ahead and stat crit. But they introduced diminishing returns on secondary stats in Shadowlands, I think. And because of that, we're never getting there. So generally crit's kind of a passive, whatever crit you get, you just kind of get. Um, but focusing on high haste and high mastery for fire. Uh, my focus, my go-to with uh, Arcane has been about 25% crit. I like around 18% haste, but Sims are gonna tell you to probably be lower around 14 to 15. Um, there's a little bit of a feel good quality to your haste level. Um, the big kicker is if you run mana gem, you can stack more mastery because it, it benefits. You get more mastery value because of that, that build. Um, it's called Savant. No, that's mastery. I don't remember which one. Prodigious Savant, something like that. One of the talents, it increases your mastery benefit. Um, so I would say probably 25%, like crit mastery are gonna be your main focuses on Arcane and then whatever level of haste um, you can stand to play at. The lower the haste, the harder everything hits, but the longer the ramp. So it's a it's a bit of a trade-off. Okay, so for Frost, um, I don't have any specific levels in mind because I haven't played Frost this expansion yet, but um, or I haven't really pushed as Frost and, and geared out. But uh, with Frost, the thing is Icy Propulsion your crits are gonna reduce the cooldown of icy veins, right? And you, those crits include like your icicles and stuff like that. So it's stuff beyond what you're shattering. So crit has a really high value for frost. It's always a really good idea to use top gear to compare whatever items you have. And that kind of directs you. I use that to get an idea of, okay, it's telling me to swip a, or swip, swap a haste verse ring for a crit mastery ring then Okay, clearly crit mastery are weighted a lot heavier. Um, but crit's really big because it keeps your cooldown reduction rolling. 
And then Mastery, from what I understand, is a primary stat for Frost because Icicle damage was overtuned. And as a result, Icicles are doing a lot. Or they, the uh, proportion of the damage, they're doing more than they probably should. So it's worth investing into Mastery. And then I think, if I had to guess on haste, probably 18 to 22% haste is probably good because you get a lot of haste from Icy Banes. Um, and the whole goal is to like keep Icy Banes up as much as possible. So crit, crit and mastery, I think are probably similar to Arcane actually. All right, I hope that helped. Thank you everyone for dropping by office hours and uh, I will see y'all next Saturday at 1 p.m. PST. Have a good one.